Welcome back, ladies and gents, on today's show. Koenigsegg celebrates its record. Novatech makes a bare carbon 812 and a brand new old Ferrari. I'm Tiffany Stone, and this is Haggerty's Daily Driver. Let's buckle up. As you probably know, the SSC Twitara's record attempt has been tainted with enough uncertainty and scrutiny that it's basically been thrown out by everyone, including SSC. That means the record for fastest production car is still held by Koenigsegg. And coincidentally, they put up this little post on IG yesterday. That's a photo of the record holding a Gera R, and what's that say? Here's to celebrating the title a third year running and an even more exciting road ahead. Well, that's an impressive amount of shade to find in the Nevada desert. What do you do when your 789 horsepower Ferrari 812 Superfast doesn't feel super fast? First, meditate for a month and try to gain some perspective. Now, if that doesn't work, have longtime Ferrari tuner Novatech build you one of these, the 812 and Largo. It has a carbon fiber wide body kit that makes the car look more amazing and more aerodynamic. The power has been turned up to 840, and it sounds like this. It also gets some suspension upgrades, and the top speed has been increased by a not so impressive five kilometers an hour. Yeah, that's not much. But did we mention you can get it in bare carbon? A bare carbon Ferrari doesn't really need to go anywhere to make sense, does it? Damn. You guys, can I hear that again real quick? So good. Now, what if new Ferraris aren't your thing, but you don't quite have old Ferrari money? You get this, the Moderna by GTO Engineering. It's a new car that looks like a classic. And it pays homage to the 250 short wheel base, but the carbon fiber body and tubular chassis will be state of the art. Several V12 options will be available, making around 320 horsepower. Not crazy power, but its target weight is just about 2,200 pounds. And keep in mind that the Ferrari 812 weighs almost 3,900 pounds. A price hasn't been announced, but considering the quality of GTO's work and the fact that this will be a carbon fiber car, expect half a million bucks at least. It's time for Throwback Thursday, that time of the week where we look back in automotive history for a gem you might have forgotten about. This week's debut of the new Golf R has us thinking about another all-wheel drive VW, the Golf Country Synchro. Back in 1990, long before the word crossover made people feel okay about buying lifted hatchbacks, the Golf Country Synchro was climbing a snowy road near you. It first showed up in 1989 as a concept car. Volkswagen took their normal all-wheel drive Golf Synchro and gave it a lift. The press loved it and VW made it so. All countries were sold with a 1.8 liter gas engine and a 5-speed manual. Now, they weren't fast. <laughs> I mean, almost nothing was fast in 1989. But these made about 90 horsepower and weighed 3,600 pounds. Under normal conditions, the power went to the front wheels, but if they slipped, power was sent to the rear. This example has a lot of options, including the bumper bars, taller suspension, and a tire carrier. Now, they were never sold in the U.S., so those that have been imported command a pretty price. This one sold on Bring a Trailer for $12,600, and it's got 124,000 miles on it. A great car, and one with a lot more style than your average Honda CRV. Well, that's it for me this week. Everybody have a great weekend, and as always, stay safe and keep driving.